animatedanatomy.com. In this lesson, I will talk about the butt docks muscles. The butt docks muscles can be found here. We will start by explaining the gluteus maximus muscle. Here is the gluteus maximus muscle. The gluteus maximus muscle has the origin on this bone here called the sacrum. It also has part of its origin on the ilium bone here. And it also has the origin here on the sacrotuberosus ligament. The insertion of this muscle is the gluteal tuberosity on femur bone. This is the femur. And also the fascia lata. And the fascia lata is actually the connective tissue on the lateral side of our leg. It cannot be seen here because it's not modeled, but this muscle also has its insertion on the fascia lata. You should remember that. This muscle is innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve. It serves for the external rotation and the extension of the hip joint. Now, if you look at it from here, when it contracts, it's obviously going to extend the hip joint. And if you look at it from above, when, you, when it contracts, it's going to make the leg rotate outwards, that means laterally. Now, when I mentioned the insertion, I have also mentioned the fascia lata. Through the fascia lata, this muscle actually supports the extended knee. And it is also the chief muscle, the chief anti-gravity muscle in sitting. The antagonists of this muscle have already been explained. It's the psoas major muscle and the psoas minor muscle. Now let's get back to our gluteal region here. We have here one muscle called the gluteus medius muscle. And the gluteus medius is a little bit covered by the gluteus maximus. The gluteus medius muscle has the origin on the gluteal surface of ilium under maximus. If I show you the ilium bone here, you will see here gluteus maximus had its origin. Okay, This here is the acetabulum, the place where the femur and hip bone articulate. And then here is the surface where the gluteus medius arises. The insertion of gluteus medius muscle is on the greater trochanter on femur. Here you can see the femur and this is the greater trochanter. So the muscle comes up there from the ilium and attaches on the greater trochanter. This muscle is innervated by the superior gluteal nerve. As you can remember, the gluteus maximus was innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve. Now there is also one more gluteus muscle and it's right underneath our gluteus medius. If I remove the gluteus medius, here we can see the gluteus minimus muscle. The gluteus minimus muscle has the same origin from ilium, but this time a little bit lower. Here arises the gluteus minimus underneath the gluteus medius. The insertion of gluteus minimus muscle is also greater trochanter of the femur. That means here, again in the same place. Now, the function of these two muscles is actually pretty much the same. It serves for the abduction of the hip and it's also preventing the adduction of the hip. It serves for the medial rotation of tight. Now, remember, our gluteus maximus muscle was performing the lateral rotation. Now that's the difference. It's because they have different insertions. Now here is the muscle that I was telling you about earlier. Uh, this is the muscle called the tensor fascia lata. Now this muscle attaches on the fascia lata only. It is the muscle that serves for the tight flexion, medial rotation, and the trunk stabilization. Now here is the fascia lata. It is modeled with this muscle because this muscle completely and only attaches to the fascia lata. Remember we had the gluteus maximus that was also connecting to the fascia lata. Now the origin of this muscle is up there on the ilium bone. It is the iliac crest. This muscle is also innervated by the superior gluteal nerve, just like the 
gluteus medius and the gluteus maximus here. Now I will talk about the lateral rotator group of muscles. Now they are actually found here. As the name says, they serve for the lateral rotation of the hip joint. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe or like my video.